Hello YouTube, welcome back to Diogenes Brando Plays Terraria 1.4.0.5, I think this was. I didn't start at the main menu this time. Now, as I said in the last episode, and I said quite a bit in the last episode, it was pretty rambly. Basically, the point of this character is to, uh, research everything to unlock it for duplication. So, we're going to continue doing that, but I'm going to need to build some NPC housing first. Okay, so, in 1.4, there's a happiness mechanic, meaning that basically your NPCs are going to be happier if their houses meet certain criteria. However, unfortunately for them, the only uh, downside to not meeting said criteria is a little bit of a boost in prices, which that really doesn't affect us, does it? Because we are cheating. Oh, I only needed 200 of these. Okay, so I'm going to want to build it just below my character, like so. Not like that, actually. This is why I don't record things, because I am, scientifically speaking, an idiot. Here, let me zoom in slightly. I don't know how much space I'm going to need for this runway. Okay, well, I'll probably need less space if I would stop messing up. But I'm going to build the basic... Uh, what is it, 10 by 3 housing? I say basic, it's kind of like a cheaty thing to do. Because money's not an issue, I don't need my NPCs to be happy, I just need them to move in. If I do continue this down the line, I'm probably going to be building them actual housing, but not today. As soon as I show what one basic of these cheat houses is supposed to look like, I'll probably... Just kind of uh, time lapse the rest of them. Oh, I'm gonna need to place it to be able to craft a chair. Okay, pick this back up. <clears throat> Don't I need that still? I mean, I could just get another one if I researched it. But the one I was lucky enough to start out with was actually pretty good. I hope so, actually. I have access to it in my hotbar, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, hammer's not important right now, finch staff, actually none of this is quite as important. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat. And there's these three items. Now, for the basic housing, what you're going to want to do is have a piece of wood, a platform, wood, platform, wood. Okay, now you come up. 10, or 11 rather. I'm going to just box myself in because this is an example house. Okay, come in here to duplication, which on reflection I don't need to do. I probably could have just, uh, what is it, built more. I don't have... Wood isn't an issue. I can create it indefinitely. I can't imagine this is entertaining to watch, but I'm going to go with it. If I don't keep recording, I'm just going to never uh, upload anything. I'm not saying that the world is a better place for having stuff that I make in it, but... I don't know, I'm kind of losing my mind with everything going on, so I want to do something. Darn it. I don't even have a... Uh... I'm going to fix that, don't worry. Okay, put a torch up. Here's good. Now, this is valid housing. If I come into here, <clears throat> this housing is suitable. And so now I'm just going to make like a, what, 24 more of those? Oops.
And there we go. I don't know if it was obvious during that building uh, montage slash I just kind of sped up the footage. But uh, I'm an idiot. That's not news, though. But now that we have a merchant moved in, I can start to actually purchase useful things. And look at that, he's happy. So let's buy a pylon and another one because I'm going to research one of those. And the other one, actually I'm probably just going to throw away now that I think about it. I don't exactly have need of it yet. So this is the start of our civilization. I'm going to carry a torch so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me reopen my minimap. And so I guess while we wait for other NPCs to move in, as we can see, uh, I thought I had a grenade anyway. I think I researched it. Hopefully that still counts, but if not, I can find another one. Ow. So other than the merchant, the easiest NPCs to get to move in right now are the demolitionist and the nurse. But to get the nurse to move in, I need to find a heart crystal and consume it. I found one or two the last episode, but I researched them. I probably should have just consumed the first one. But what are you going to do? If I'm extremely careful, which I don't even have a weapon equipped, so I don't know how I plan to do that. Yeah, let's come in here. Come into my researched items. Let's build some weapons real quick here, actually. Wooden bow, not quite useful. Rapid wooden bow, excuse me. Rapid wooden bow is kind of good, so I'm going to keep that one. Research this one. Now I think I can make a couple of arrows. I just need stone, which I've got plenty of. Okay, got some arrows. I guess I only needed to research 99 of them. Nobody ever accused me of being smart. Now let's make some fa flaming arrows. I probably only need to research 99 again, but I'm out. Oh, it's the normal arrows I don't have enough of. No, I've got plenty. They're over here. Hmm. Is it not just regular arrows and torches? No, it is. Oh, I was crafting torches. I'm an idiot. That's not news, though. I've said that a couple times at this point. They're perfect. Now we can make a bunch of uh, flaming arrows. It would be nice if my character would behave. Although it is me pushing the incorrect buttons, and so I really can't blame him. Now let's uh, very carefully dig down in total darkness into this uh, antlion's den. I'm going to place some torches so that you can see. I also wouldn't mind being able to see, but... I usually play these games totally blind, and I don't mean I go into them not knowing what I'm doing. That only looks like it's the case. Oops. I need to be careful about those eggs. By which I mean I'm going to somehow end up breaking every single one of them. If I'm careful... Okay, cool. So I can be careful and break stuff. Now, I don't think, anyway, that my iron pickaxe can break this desert fossil. Ah. It would be nice if I'd not break any eggs while doing this. There we go. Can I break... Oh, fossil. I totally can. Good, good. Uh... It would be nice to get something like a vein miner, I think it's called, where it grabs all of the uh, resource. Except I feel like that in combination or conjunction with uh, journey mode would probably be a little bit game-breaking. How many desert fossils do I need to research? 200. Yeah, I'm probably not going to grab that, especially not in this video. But I will remember this is here. Remember this is here, even. Ow. Okay, so those can hurt you just by touching them. I just realized... There is no reason for me to not purchase... A watchamadoodle. 
Mining helmet. Let's go. Shop. As you can see, you've got a small amount of money. Let's grab two. One for me to wear. And one for me to throw into the research bin. If I can remember how to get to it. I don't know how I have less energy this episode than I feel like I did the last, but... I suppose it's just kind of, you know, different day. I also don't know if I built 25 of those. It certainly does not look like it, looking at my map. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, so there's only 19 of those. I probably only need about 24. I should have bought a net. I'm going to go back and do that too now. If this episode's a little bit more disconjointed than my usual stuff, it's because uh, it totally is. Although this is probably the norm, actually. I don't know what, I'm what kind of lies I'm trying to sell here. Okay, shop. Give me a net. Okay, peace. I, for some reason, continue to think that this character can fall to their death, but I also forget that I'm wearing these fledgling wings, so... My stupidity is at least, you know, grounded in logic. I'm playing non-journey mode at this point in the game, you definitely wouldn't have wings. And it's not impossible to just kind of skybridge your way up to one of those islands up there and get a lucky horseshoe. But I never do. How many fallen stars do I need to research? 50. That's going to take a bit. It's probably also not something I'm going to do on camera. One moment. Whew. Hopefully I edited that out. I'm trying to be better about that, but I just sneezed. Conveniently, I'm not doing this live. Because muting and unmuting my microphone is unreliable at best. Oops, I don't know what I thought that would do accomplish. I should have blocked it off a little bit better than I did. Well, I said, I was thinking we only have one to deal with now. Perfect. That couldn't have gone worse. Just more cactus traps. Ow. What's this? More silver? Perfect. I think at some point... Yeah, I'm collecting a good amount of silver ore. Meaning that silver gear and stuff might be in our future. Because I just realized I'm not wearing armor, like, at all. It's kind of why it was pretty convenient to throw on the mining helmet. going to drop a ton of gold when this thing kills me. Not that it matters. Antlion mandible, uh, five to research that. I don't know what antlion mandibles are good for, but it couldn't hurt. Oh, let's fire inwards. There we go. Even if I failed to do that, I think that my little buddy would have gotten it. I'm kind of curious as to what's going on over there, because there's some psychedelic lighting. Ow. Oh no, I dropped 39 gold, 20 silver, and 24 copper. And I'm back to where I died. I'm going to need to collect my headstones for a graveyard mini-biome. Diogenes got impaled. Okay, so it's just a uh, corrupted altar. I probably could have figured that's what it was. This isn't the most professional of Let's Plays. I suppose while I'm just digging and stuff, I can talk about what's going on with my life. 
Uh, not much, unfortunately. Times are crazy. Uh, I've recently started playing The Witcher 3 on the Nintendo Switch, which is not the best way to play it, but it's portable. It's also kind of a weird place to start in the series, I think. When I was creating my character, or not creating, you, know, you always play as Geralt, when I was creating my save, it asked if I wanted to simulate a Witcher 2 save file, and I told it to do so. I don't know what effect that has, and I've also not played The Witcher 2. So if it does have an obvious effect, I don't even think I'll catch it. Now let me turn that off. Because that's not overly useful when I'm not building. Oh, I hear a worm! This is why I don't want to switch to master mode immediately. I'll probably switch to master mode before I start actually fighting bosses. But at this point I'm being killed by the most random stuff. No, it's kind of weird, because uh, Geralt himself said that witches don't do things for free because of the witch of code. But I've done almost everything I've done so far in the game for free. So I don't think that Geralt cares too much about the Witcher code. Or at the very least, I certainly don't. Two more silver ore and then I can duplicate it. This is a lot of sand. I've been ignoring lead because I tend to do so. I ignore lead and iron both. But it is very handy in potions, so I shouldn't be doing that. But also, mining is probably one of the least interesting things I could be doing while recording. I mean, this character's cheating anyway, so I don't think anybody would call me out on it if I came back for, like, episode 3, having researched some ore. Almost broke that watchma thing. Antlion eggs. Now, I'm lucky, because the last time, or the first time, I suppose, usually when I come in here, I die to every trap, but I've not found any. Like, I'm usually neck deep in sand by now. Oh, cool. That was convenient. I don't know what I'm going to do with antlion mandibles, but let's pick them up for duplication in the future. And the sand gun is overpowered, but I tend not to make it. Ooh, a life crystal. In fact, it looks like there's a whole house down there, so I'm, well, breaking egg sacks for one. I'm digging down. Nope, it's not a house. Although that ant lion standing on top of a statue really did look, or a cactus really did look like a statue. Ah, let me get to my... Woo! I should invest in some health potions. While I'm here, some amethyst. Give me this. Give me the amethyst. Perfect. Okay, but it doesn't appear to be anything of note this way. Although this is a pretty large amount of sand. I wonder if it's part of a sand trap. Based on the shape, it looks like it probably is. Yep, that looks like a pressure plate down there. It totally is. Um, let's see if I can kill this antlion guy without... Come on, fly back over here, buddy. Well, oh, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to. Mm, perfect. Let me see if I can scoop this up. Oh, it just breaks. Uh, you're going to have to take my word for it that that was a pressure plate. It causes all of this sand to drop onto your head. Which, as far as traps go, is effective. I was hoping to find a chest or something down here. I should probably make Spelunker potions, because as far as I know, I probably have just passed a chest or two at this point already. Why would I do that? There's no reason to do that. Ooh, some scarab bombs. I really like these, but I'm probably going to craft them if I ever hope to research. Enough. I think I broke into some more sand traps. Oh, they found me. I should find a weapon that I am proficient with. Don't know if I can get anything I'm actually good with without cheating. I mean, even if I were to say find a 
Whoops. Find the razor blade typhoon sitting in a chest. I don't think anybody would buy that that was legit. Hello, I decided instead of... Ah, uh, fuck. Hello, I decided that instead of dying repeatedly over there, in the uh, antlion biome, I would just come over here, find the last bit of silver I needed. Where is it? Am I blind? Yes. Yes, I am. There we go. So now when I get back to base, I can craft armor and some better weapons, which will always come in handy. I think I'm also going to jump the uh, difficulty up to expert. Or even normal, because I think the journey mode has like a very low difficulty. And I am still dying, like, a lot. But will not, uh, will not reflect on my inability to play the game. Because then I'll start to feel bad. Oops, I've been recording for 30 minutes, but who knows how much of that is. Whoa, can we not push me under the dark trap, please, and thank you. Who knows how much of that's actually usable footage, and how much of it's just going to be me either skipping something or speeding up that building I did earlier. So I'm just kind of down here collecting some useful resources. Ooh, I saw something jumping around down here. It's just a slime. Not that there are too many other things it could have been. That's silver ore. Unless it's platinum. It's probably silver, though. I do still need to find out if this world is platinum or gold. And whichever one it is, I need to find a bunch of it. Hmm, a traveling merchant has arrived. Ow. Who needs ore when you can be, uh, cheesing the traveling merchant? What are you doing up there, buddy? I don't know where I expect them to spawn when the house is, uh, in the floor. Or not in the floor. The opposite of the floor. It's up in the sky. I should probably just end the episode, because I am stupid. <gasps> Ooh, this is useful. Like, celestial magnet? Extremely useful. Uh, birdie rapple. Birdie rapple. Birdie rattle. Wow. Requires a platinum, though. I don't know where I'm going to find one of those. Oh, would you look at that? I got some platinum. I got way too much platinum. Um, yeah, let me just throw away an entire stack of platinum in front of you. For the lulls. What was I going to buy? Well, here, let me purchase 20 sake. Just to do so. 20 sake. This crown... Throw away more platinum. Uh, the Rosalina dress and staff. Here, take some dirt. Bamboo leaf, summon a baby red panda. Ooh, that sounds cute. You can have uh, this dragonfly. I would keep it to research it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch four more of those because uh, they're fast. Now, before I research these, let's actually see what they look like. Not these. I know what these look like. Okay, so it's a cute little, uh... I don't know what the stars are called in uh, Mario Galaxy, actually. I'm only mostly sure that's what these guys are a reference to. Mm, baby red panda. It's cute, but it's a red panda, so I don't think anybody thought it wouldn't be. And, uh, where's the harpy thing? Here we go. Adorable. Uh, what did I do with the staff? Oh, here it is. Let's see here. Uh, Lil Harpy. Cuteness from above. Hmm. I don't know if I want the Harpy following me around, though, so I'm going to come into here. And I think I'm going to stick with the Red Panda, because, honestly, of everything, it's the cutest. I can't get high enough off the ground to fly, though. That's everything he had, correct? Uh, Celestial Magnet and Sake. I've already bought those to research. I just haven't yet. I should probably just stop recording because uh, this is going nowhere. Research these. I can research these. I don't know how I have so little gel. Probably because I turned down spawn rates. Uh, research the Sake. 
I'm going to hold on to the desert fossil, because if I can find an extractinator, there's a good chance that I need to research far fewer ancient fossils. And then at that point, there is no point in researching the desert fossils, because, uh... What else are you going to do with them? Let me come into crafting. I'm in crafting. I should be close enough to a table to use it, right? Probably not. So let's put down a table. Let's put down a chair. The nurse has arrived right on time. What am I doing? Do, 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 do. do I not have any wood? That appears to be the case. So let's give myself some of that. There we go. Come uh, down here to craft a table table. And can I make a forge? Yes. Well, furnace. Forge, furnace, whatever. Come into here, uh, research. Table and furnace. I'd imagine this is good fun to watch. Okay, throw away my tables. Grab the furnace. Might as well put that over here. Now, I want to research lead ore, but I'm going to need to collect quite a bit more of that. How much... or how many lead bars would I need to research? Because if I don't need to research quite as many, it's probably faster to do that. 21. Um, I feel like that just kind of adds out to the same amount. So I'm going to hold on to those and just buy an anvil from him. Perfect. Give me another one to research. Give me a sickle, because I actually like how straw looks. The straw, yeah, crafting blocks anyway. Hand me those. Give me this. Let's just take the sickle back out. Eventually, I'm going to need to start typing things into these, and then we're going to realize that I can't spell either. So hay blocks, there we go. And how many do I need to research of these? Where are they? Uh, 20, I need to research 100. Ah, eh, that's not... Um, it is, it's doable. Because you can make some pretty good roofs out of these. With the obvious, you know, stipulation that they are made out of hay. Perfect. So we've now done a good deal of research this uh, episode. I'm going to call it quits because I'm exhausted. Eventually I'll be not tired again. I said I was going to hold on to those. Real quick, actually, before I end this, let's just craft some uh, silver armor and weapons because they will come in handy down the line. They're not the best upgrade, but I've not seen any gold or platinum so far to my knowledge. I don't think I've gone low enough. So come into here, let's find silver ore, just give me an entire stack of that. I'm crafting. When and where did I find tungsten? I thought silver and tungsten couldn't exist at the same time. Probably out of a pot, chest, slime, one of those things. There we go, silver bars, let me just throw them into this bad boy. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Create a silver helmet, breastplate, or chainmail, whatever they want to call it. A silver bow, and I don't want a bra short sword. Love it as I do, it's not the most useful. Broad swords have a, more of a broad stroke, which I'm going to assume is why they're named thusly. Let's just throw my tools in here as well. Goodbye, bow. Quick iron short sword, farewell. Come into here, type out the word silver. First thing I did was try to spell silver with an O. Now, I don't think that resources spawned in, put that in as vanity at the moment, can actually have uh, reforges on them. Let's craft some tools now, because I made the room. 
Silver pickaxe, ruthless. I don't think knockback is a thing. No, it's definitely got knockback. Regardless, that's not an issue. Uh, silver axe. Just to say I have it, a silver hammer. Ooh, a godly silver hammer. I managed to get good reforges on all of my tools, though I'm going to hold on to them until a point where I can afford to uh, replace them. And like that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, <clears throat> if for some reason you're still here, uh, you have the patience of a saint. And farewell. Hello there, YouTube storyteller. I'm appending this to the end of the video because if you're watching the end of the video, I suppose you're the kind of person who cares. Uh, for many reasons, I don't think I'm going to be continuousing, continuousing, fucking hell, continuing this specific sort of, uh, series. Because A, what I'm doing is super boring. B, I've made like two JoJo references and I've not even seen JoJo. And C, I'm switching over computers, so while it wouldn't be too difficult, I'd think, to get my save file from this computer to the new one, I'm not going to. So I've really just lost everything. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching if you're actually seeing this. I can't imagine anybody who even clicks on this video by accident will.